And now for the moment of truth. <laughs> I know you guys probably think I'm so crazy, but here we go. Here goes nothing. Hey Mountain Family, how's it going? So today I'm going to show you how I prepare and make my placenta smoothies. If you don't know the benefits of eating your placenta, I will have links down below in my description bar. But I will also talk later on about why I make placenta smoothies and how it affects me and why I could not imagine someone throwing it away <laughs> because of the benefits that I have gotten from actually doing this. But first things first, I have to first cut and prepare all this fruit. I have to do this first because I have to put all of my different smoothies I'm going to make, all the different types, into these baggies. So when I go to cut the placenta, I can put it in each individual baggie. It just makes things so much easier to go ahead and get this out of the way. So this is going to be first. And I was going to put my camera up over here, but Devin has put his fish tank over here. So I have like zero room to set up my camera. So... I'm just going to have to show you guys what it all looks like once I'm done. Okay, now all of my fruit is cut and prepared. I have some apples that I boiled, some oranges, mango, and dragon fruit. I also have some kale, which I haven't cut yet, but it's so easy to cut. Like, I don't have to pre-cut that. Um, I'm not using the cantaloupe. <laughs> uh, blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, blackberries. You can use whatever fruit you want to if you're going to do this. Oh, bananas. Um, this is just what I'm using, but, you know, and now I'm going to take all this fruit that I have now cut up and everything, and I'm going to put it in these baggies, and I'm just going to do different variations of fruit, like I'm going to do a triple berry um, smoothie. I'm going to do, uh, like, a citrus fruit fruzy <laughs> a citrus smoothie i'm so sorry guys i'm just gonna do like different ones and i'll show you guys the final product okay so i have my smoothie bags all prepped and ready i think i have enough i probably don't <laughs> i will probably have to make more but um this is what i have so far and now i'm going to actually prepare my placenta okay so here's my placenta this is the cord that connected me to Andy. And this is actually her side because this is the actual sack that she was laying in. Uh, this I'm gonna cut, this I'm gonna cut. I don't eat the umbilical cord. I don't know why. I don't. It just adds like an extra ick factor that I don't need. So yeah, I cut this off and I cut this off so that I am left with just this part. This is the baby side. This is the mother's side, this is my side. Um, and I'm going to wash all the extra blood off and get any clots off and basically just try to make it as clean as I can, even though it's, you know, kind of a placenta. So I have washed the placenta, I have cut off the amniotic sac, and I have cut off the umbilical cord, and then I flipped it to the mother's side because the umbilical cord, all that other stuff is on the baby's side, which is on this other side back here. And this is mommy's side. This is what was attached to me. Um, and now I'm going to cut it into long strips like this, and then I'm going to cut it into small little pieces like this. And I'm going to stick about three or four of these little pieces into all of my smoothie bags. And I promise you guys, I know you're probably at this point in the video thinking, this girl is crazy. But just wait, just give me a hot minute and I will explain to you guys why I do this. So all of my smoothies are all prepped and ready complete with placenta. <laughs> Everything is in there, if you can see. And this is about 14 days worth-ish. I haven't exactly counted how many bags I have. Last I counted it was 12. I haven't counted since then, but I think it's about 14, 16 bags, something like that. And that's not including the one that I'm about to have right now. So I'm going to put some orange juice in there and blend it up like any kind of smoothie. I'm gonna have some chia and flax in there too. I just haven't gotten it out of my drawer yet. And I'm going to have one right now. And now for the moment of truth. <laughs> I know you guys probably think I'm so crazy, but here we go. Here goes nothing. Fruit. That's really all I taste. I taste orange juice. I taste dragon fruit. 
I taste fruit. That's what I taste. I do these smoothies because I just feel so much better after I do. I feel rejuvenated and my body heals faster. I feel like I bounce back postpartum better. Eating your placenta is also a really good way to help your milk come in and to establish your supply. The first time that I ever had a placenta smoothie was right after McKinley and I told myself if I can just get over the ick factor, if I can eat a piece of raw steak, then I can try one sip of this smoothie and if I don't like it, throw it, trash it, never doing it again. But you can at least try it. So I did and oh my gosh, the benefits. And I taste nothing but fruit. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions at all, just leave me a comment down below. If you want to follow me on social media, my links are also down below. And I will see you guys later in a new vlog. Bye guys.